Hello, welcome. Let's just solve this problem together because it doesn't really even fit on the screen. Um, so first of all, there it says there was a study done on oxygen consumption of snails as a function of pH. Right, so how much oxygen do they consume based on something about their pH level? And the result was a degree four polynomial function. How nice. Whose graph is shown below. Okay, so we have a polynomial function. Which statement about this function is incorrect? The first one says the degree of the polynomial is even. Now remember, if the degree of your polynomial is even, that means the end behavior is either going to be like a positive parabola. So I'm going to draw a parabola, right? Okay. It's going to be one of these two things. If you remember with parabolas, which are even polynomials, the end behavior here, end behavior means as x gets really big, so it's this end and this end right here, both... Um, both ends are going to be pointing up. In other words, as x approaches positive infinity, the outputs increase. And as x approaches negative infinity, the, po the outputs increase. Or, as x approaches positive or negative infinity, the outputs will decrease, just like a parabola would as x approaches positive or negative infinity. If, so, and, and here you can see that our, it's not approaching infinity, it's approaching 10. But if we extended this arbitrarily, you can see that these two outputs are both approaching negative infinity, which is a property that all uh, even polynomials um, share. And that happens when your leading coefficient is negative. So for example, if, let's say, it's, they're telling you it's um, x to the fourth, right? So maybe this function says x to the fourth plus some stuff, like x to the third, x squared. Whatever coefficients on the x to the fourth determines whether the even polynomial is like a, opens upward or opens downward. And if it's positive, it opens upward. But in this case, it's clearly negative because it's opening downward. In other words, um, as x is increasing infinitely towards positive or negative infinity, it's pointing down. And that the, this coefficient determines whether it points up or down, right? Just like it does in a, a parabola. Anyway, long story short, this, this is actually correct, so I'm going to cross it out. There is a positive leading coefficient. That is the part that is incorrect. And, it's, and because, again, it, with a positive leading coefficient, it would open upward, just like a parabola would if you had, like, 1x squared or 2x squared. If you had negative 2x squared or something, it's going to point downward. And the same is true whether it's second degree or fourth degree or whatever um, polynomial, as long as it's even. And side note, if, if it's an odd degree polynomial, it would look more cubic-ish. So like maybe like this, some weird stuff might happen in the middle. We don't know exactly. But the end behaviors are just like x cubed for any odd degree polynomial when the, then the coefficient is positive. And if the coefficient is negative, this thing, let me just draw it separately. If the coefficient is negative, it would flip that upside down. It's weird stuff. I don't know exactly what's going to happen in the middle, but the end behaviors right, plus some stuff. Um, if the degree of the polynomial is odd, where it's 3 or 5 or 7, not 1, but 3, 5, or 7 and larger, um, you're going to exhibit behaviors like a cubic function. And the cubic function will be like this if the leading coefficient is negative, and it'll be like I drew before if that leading coefficient is positive. All right, so let's clear that off. Let's just look at the other example. At two pH values, there is a relative maximum value, sure, here and here. Relative maximums just say, like, within some certain domain, there is some high point. And this is one example, and the same is true here. Um, it's kind of like an easy way of explaining it is imagine terrain, you're going over a hill. Whenever you go over a hill, the peak of that hill is called a local maximum. And then uh, if you're in a valley, like right here, whenever you're in a valley, whatever the lowest point is could be referred to as a lower, uh, a local minimum. But, so this is correct, so we cross it off. We're looking for incorrect answers. There are two intervals where the function is decreasing. Yeah, sure. So if I have this interval here, that's a decreasing. And this interval here, the function is decreasing. So that's correct, but we're looking for the incorrect answer, so we cross it off. All right, hope that helped.